three, two, one. Here's the sabot uh, completely open. You can see the basic architecture is the rubber band that's attached here, and, and then it's attached down through here. Um, this is a ribbon that helps with uh, the stabilization of it to make it go straight. And then we have the parachute, which is here. And then up front is the actual actuator. It's a little servo uh, that moves, and I'll show you that in a second, to open and close the sabot uh, midair and wirelessly. This is how the sabot closes. Um, it just has these little gears on the back here. And this is just all stretchy to a band, and you have to pivot. And then, um, kind of lift it up a little bit, and then close it down. And then on the front side here, this thing attaches there, and that's what actually closes it. And then, the actual opening mechanism is actuated using this radio, it's, it's wireless. And you can see here that when I press this trigger here, uh, this servo moves the rod back and then it opens. So that's pretty much it. You can see that that's how it works. This is the cannon that launches the sabot. And on the back side, there's a pressure regulator. And then here is the, the valve to open and close to fill up the pressure chamber, which is in the back. Here's the valve that's used uh, to open and close. This butterfly valve, which the butterfly valve is in there. Um, and this thing is quite costly. Um, it's about $400. Um, and then here is the rest of the front side. And you can see here it's, it's Schedule 80. Um, and it's reinforced 